burning dish. He's the hardest working man in show business. His band's music takes you into the midnight hours. And when you wake up, his voice is back on your radio alarm clock. How on earth did this happen? Well, Jeff saw me taking out the trash at the radio station, and I won an award. It's the Morning Dish with the 2017 Radio Personality of the Year Award winner, Stephen Phillips. Well, my daddy told me one day I'd amount to something. And Murphy's own Sherry Rains. Stephen, be ready, because I can dish it out. Well, my problem is I can't take it. (laughs) And Packy Smith is a winner, too. Um, are we all aware that 2017 was a few years ago? Well, all right. He's not in radio for the money, just the glory. You have got to get Stephen Phillips off the radio. He has lost it. Here's Stephen Phillips. All righty, folks, we're back with you. We got Sonny Sawyer, uh, as y'all might know him. Enos, good morning. How are you? Hey, Stephen, how you doing, buddy, bro? Hey, Sherry, how you doing? I'm doing good. It's good to talk to you this morning. Hey, thank you all for having me on the show. I appreciate it. God bless you. No, we're you glad know, you're here, you get, man. When you get a... Uh, in your eighties, people forget about you. You know? <laughs> Are you kidding? Stephen's got a picture of you hanging on his wall. I do have. Oh, really? You don't throw darts at it, do you? No, Steven? I don't. But you know, a lot of folks don't know this, and uh, I didn't know this the other day. We were talking, but actually, you were in Smokey and the Bandit. Oh yeah, I was in the Smokey and the Bandit. Don't blink your eyes, and you know when you get the bird from Sally Field, it affects your whole life. <laughs> <I can't... laughs> I can imagine that, but yeah, he was the motorcycle rider. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that was cool. Okay. Yeah, it was cool, and then went right on into... Uh, I'm going to have to go back and watch that movie. The Dukes of Hazard. so anyway, now you're living, you were born and raised, and now you still are in Valdosta, Georgia, right? That's right. I've come a long way. <laughs> about three miles. <laughs> <That's>, <laughs> hey, you can always come home, man. Ain't no doubt about it. I was born over in uh, Hill Avenue, and... Uh, well, actually, you know, the place I was born, it was a hospital, Bird Hospital in, here in Valdosta, and uh, and now it's a, a Baptist training center. It's a Baptist church owns it now. Oh, but that's anyway, cool. that's from a hospital to a church. That's good. Yeah, I'm all about Baptist. I'm a Baptist because we eat the best. You know, we got fried chicken and covered dish and all that kind of stuff, so that's why. <laughs> See, well, that's great. Were you born up there, up there in Hawassi? Yeah, I'm like you. I moved across the street after I grew up, so that's kind of f- far as I've went. But uh, anyway, that's good. That's good, buddy. I, I went to I went to three different schools, actually more than that. But uh, I got a scholarship to Florida State. I was uh, second string high school. We we won state my junior senior year. Well, and it, my best buddy was getting a scholarship. He went to Auburn, played five years, and. And uh, Ray Moore went to, I think he went to uh, Alabama. And we had an All-American quarterback and everything. Anyway, I felt kind of left out, so I walked walked down there, uh, went down there in Florida State and walked on a 185-pound defensive tackle. And they liked to kill me, but they gave me, Tom Nugent gave me a scholarship. He was a head coach down there. and So I lasted one year, but... I learned a lot. Learned a lot. Yeah, I can say that's right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. My daddy always yeah, said you learn right. a lot of don'ts in life. You don't mm. learn many do's, but you learn a lot of don'ts. Yeah. Well, anyway, I ended up I ended up uh, going to Valdosta State College for two years, and then University of Georgia for two years in summer school. So I got five years, two summer schools, and three universities under my belt now. <laughs> well, now you did. Uh, <laughs> but, uh, I uh, entered on probation and left on probation in Florida State, but <laughs> hey, we might y'all be don't can. give up on, on, on the education. Stephen's on probation all the time. Can, so. you know? Yeah, I still Hey, buddy, uh, listen, how's the weather up there? The weather down there is kind of foggy, I would like. It's beautiful up here. That was foggy this morning, though. Hey, I have a question for you. Now, you were on the Dukes of Hazard. That show ran for quite a while. You were on it for a long time. So... Being on a show that long with a group of people, did y'all develop? What kind of relationship did you develop with the other cast members? Well, you got any brothers and sisters? Yes. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, it's sort of like that. I don't have any brothers and sisters, so I don't know how it is. But I, I do know that, uh, you know, I asked, I asked Bo and Luke to be my brother, my adopted brother, and they didn't say nothing. <laughs> <laughs> I get the same problem, man. I get the same and problem. And that's from your real brother. Yeah, right? Right? like... Oh Lord! No, I, 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 you know, I love, I love all the guys on there. You know, we all have, uh, we all have, uh, or had. Uh, you know, we're getting, getting low. I mean, 
Sorrel, I love Sorrel. He he was Sorrel Book. He was. Oh yeah. Uh, he was from Buffalo, New York. He was still trying to talk Southern when he when he passed away. But you know, he was a great guy. He was smart as a whip, and uh, Boss Hog was. He was really a, a great, great guy. He and really I, knew how to make you hate him. He did. Yeah, he but was you know just, the thing about the actors on The Dukes of Hazard, and you can say what you want to, but you got like Boss Hog went in there and done his part. Then you got uh, Enos, and then Roscoe, and y'all did y'all's. And, and it's really cool. Chef Roscoe, way. I love Chef Roscoe. Jimmy Bass, he, you know, he he played in these old westerns a long time ago right. with Randolph Scott. That's and, right, he did. Oh, on, he usually played a crazy guy, and and uh, and Jimmy Bass was a he was a fabulous fabulous actor and a great friend, and he was a great artist too. I mean, he's his. Uh, well, now you've done some songs yourself. You've done some kid songs. You you done you can't roller skate in the buffalo herd. Didn't you do that one? Oh, Roger Miller! I heard Roger Miller heard uh, heard uh, uh, go, uh, what uh, glub glub or what he what do you call that other song? Oh. Anyway, he is uh, Roger Miller. I never met Roger. I love Roger. Yeah, rub it up, rub it up. You're in heaven. I know you're in heaven, but we, we miss you, boy. There you and go. I, well, yeah, I, I did that, and I did a well. When you get when you get your own show, a lot of things happen. Uh, I had a. A little kid, uh, Cam, Cam Cameron, from uh, Nashville, and uh, he wrote me a letter. He is five years old or six years old, and said and he gave me a picture of himself dressed up like Enos, and I had to call him up and uh, tell him how much I appreciated his letter. <laughs> that means cute. a lot to you, man. There's no doubt. That's but yeah, you had your own show, Enos. I mean, you actually had a spinoff from the Dukes of Hazard, Enos. Yeah, that, well, that was a. Uh, I told Guy, I said, Guy, you know, I don't want, I don't want my own show. I, I'm satisfied doing my, doing Dukes of Hazard, playing the, playing the idiot. <laughs> I was going to say you were kind of the butt of the joke a lot of the time, but then you know that's why you and Stephen relate so well because he's pretty much the butt of all of our jokes. So. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, I told, I told, I told Guy, I said, I don't want my own show. I said. You know, those things don't usually go, and I'd rather rather be a working actor than a broke movie star. You yeah. know. And he said, uh, "Well, he said if you you get your own show, well, you you know, it's kind of a prestige thing. Who who gets their own show named after their own character?" And, right. And I said, "Well, well, you know." Uh, he said, "We'll put put in contract that you can come back to the Dukes if it if it don't go." And I said, well, gosh, that's a bird nest on the ground, you know. I'll, I'll try that. And uh, so I did, you know, I did it. And uh, they put in my contract, and uh, it went 17 shows. And I uh, got two people's choice nominations and had three different executive directors, and it didn't get picked up. So I came back to the Dicks about a year, a year and a half later or so. Right. But, uh, Anyway, it was a learning experience, and it was kind of a different when I came back to the show. But uh, anyway, it was a well, learning your, experience. Real, your real your real first amazing, instinct was huh? probably right on that, Sonny. Hey, I have a question too about Denver Pyle. I always admired him, and I, he was he was to me my favorite character on that series. So, sorry, it was but great. To, God yeah, bless you. he is. Yeah, he is an old actor and a mm-hmm. tremendous, tremendous, uh, uh, tremendous actor. He. he been around so long and uh he's a great director too he was pretty pretty strict in his directing but he uh, he didn't allow no cutting up and nothing but <laughs> oh that didn't go over good with you i guarantee you. you're kind of like me he ain't got cut up his my daddy said i was cut out right i just sewed up wrong well he did a lot of old western he was he was big in a lot of the old westerns ever and he was in the andy griffith show he was in a lot of stuff yeah. he's just a fascinating well, guy oh yeah he was uh, what was that show uh he had mules there uh, uh Anyway, then we we had a great we had a great uh, respect for everybody and 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 we had some good great actors. I mean, uh, they found uh, they found uh, they found Tom Wopat on Broadway. He was doing a, a Broadway show and uh, he got him. And Tom Wopat played Luke Duke and right. uh, John Snyder was uh, in Atlanta. He was. Uh, John was, <laughs> golly, he was a heartthrob. He, and still is. I mean, he's doing great now in, now in Louisiana. And uh, he just had a birthday. Uh, uh, they postponed it. I was supposed to do a movie with him uh, in, Ju- in July. Yeah. Postponed it from March. 
Yep. I think it was March and uh, yeah, he's right. this COVID uh, COVID Shut virus. It, it sounded like I got the virus, but I hadn't. Anyway, <clears throat> well, let me ask you something. Out there and, in, when you had Enos, when you did the movie Enos, you had uh, one of the episodes, I'll never forget it, y'all were going around investigating something, and you had to go to all these different places and ask questions. And every time you went into a, a establishment, if you went into a pawn shop or something like that, you bought something because you felt guilty. And I'll never forget, you had the whole <laughs> trunk of your car full of stuff. Do you, I do that. I do that. If I'm going down the interstate and I've got to go to the restroom, and if I stop at a convenience store, I always buy something. Do you do that? <laughs> well, yeah. Well, they had to clean up the toilet, you know. Yeah. I mean, they 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 got the overhead and everything, so you you want to help them out a little bit because they help you out yeah. in dire need. <laughs> anyway, it, 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 I I really enjoyed uh, enjoyed my career. I, I just did a the last thing I did was a couple of years ago on a, a movie called uh, what was it called? Uh, I didn't forget what what was it called. <laughs> Yeah, the resident, the resident, and guess what? Now, you wouldn't believe this, Sherry, but I, I played a guy that had a had. Uh, I said, "Oh, oh!" I said, "See there, I got hit by lightning." <laughs> I was in the emergency room yeah. in the resident, and uh, and golly, uh, they they gave me an examination and found out that I had a uh, what do you call it a, heart, a pacemaker. <laughs> It was the battery was going dead, and it was shocking me every time. And I thought I was hit by lightning. You know, <laughs> terrible. That's, that's pretty. Two good. years later, here I got a pacemaker in my heart for real. Oh. I just had a pacemaker in my heart. Well, uh, sounds like you're doing good. Yeah, like you're doing good. Now, Sonny, if somebody wants to catch up with you or, or book you or find out what's going on in your life, how's the best way? I'm looking. You got a Facebook page. You've also got an official Sonny Schroyer official page, right? I don't know. I don't have a computer. So <laughs> well, somebody's got you set up on Facebook, just so you yeah, know. Yeah, we got that. We got it. We get you. Yeah, tell me to call that. Now, you know, Mike. Mike Cookies of Tennessee, up in Tennessee, uh, near near uh, Memphis. Right. Okay. Call Mike Cook or or uh, or uh, Scott I'll, Dickinson down in down in Orlando, Florida. They yeah. got a, they got one of those. They things can. On uh, Y'all can call yeah. here at the station. We got all the info. We'll get you hooked up. Well, yeah, it is. Yeah. They're probably yeah. who's got his Facebook set up because yeah. they're both listed here with phone numbers. Yeah. So, yeah, so you anyway. can check him out there. Well, Sonny, we uh, appreciate you calling in. I hate to get you out of bed so early this morning. Oh, no. You know what? I, I, was, I was thinking of putting this. Uh, I got a sleep apnea thing. It was got to put together. I think I put it in backwards because it didn't work last night. <laughs> I love you guys. Hey, we appreciate thank you, you man. Appreciate you big time. We'll be talking to you again. Hey, I thank you for calling and thank you for letting me on the show. And Absolutely. I got something to say to you. Yes, sir. Hey, uh, late 97.7 WJUL. Our soul is rock and roll. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you do better than I do, man. We appreciate you calling in. Hi, right, Steve. Thank you, Sherry. God God bless thank you. Man. You have a good day. <laughs> Love you. All righty, oh, man. No doubt. What, my goodness. What a great guy. What a great guy. <laughs> Folks, don't forget, you can listen online anywhere in the world at WJULradio.com. That is WJULradio.com. Or you can listen live at Lake 97.7, WJUL. And don't forget, we're going to be uploading this to the uh, YouTube channel and our Facebook page. So just go to The Morning Dish. You can listen to the show again. And uh, give us a like and give us a share. We appreciate it.